Hello, welcome to DJ Fossils. So today we're down at High Cliff going to Long Barton on sea. And as you can see, it's a nice day, the tide's already out. You can see the needles over the back there. Yeah, really nice today. So hoping we're going to find some bits, some nice gastropods. Uh, I'm going to go along the back bit and have a look for gastropods. Jackie's going to have a nose along the front looking for shark's teeth. Hopefully she'll actually do some videos. No. <laughs> and uh, we might find something. We've got Poppy with us as well. She'll like this beach. It's a nice one for her. So, yeah, let's hope we find some nice bits and I'll show you what we find as we find it. Well, first find. Um, just having a nose around. I haven't seen a lot yet so far until I got to this bit. But can you see here? A uh, tiny little stingray piece. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah. That's really nice. They're normally black, so that's unusual. And I just spotted... Where was it? Uh, right where I was. Here anyway. There was a tiny little gastropod shell. Now I've lost it. I don't want to lose this piece, so keep hold of that. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, it w oh there it is. Yep, yeah, so just there, dinky little gastropod. So yeah, but when you're here, I'm just going to put that there a minute. Always bring a little Ziploc bag or something like that to put your finds in, or pouches, that sort of thing. So we can put this piece in the bag. And I'm going to see what that gastropod's like. A bit broken that one sometimes yeah there we go so it's crushed some of them are not very well preserved and they just fall to pieces so yeah but a good find already and lovely coloring but yeah just looking at this mud bank I and mean, you can't obviously dig banks I've got my little shovel there but obviously if you see something loose on the top you can pick it up but yeah I'm gonna have a good look around this little area I'm just having a look along the banks up the top Jackie's down the bottom there it's okay to come up here in the dry weather but don't come up here when it's been raining or if it is winter time and stuff all this ground like here is just bog and it literally you will sink four foot five foot you'll be stuck in the mud and you have to call lifeguard out you will get stuck they're very very dangerous up here um but obviously in this in the wet weather it stays just along the front of the banks don't come up onto them but when it is dry you can get up here sometimes because not a lot of people come up here there's loads of people down the beach there's no one up here um, I might find something decent along here you never know and just to show you this is what I mean uh, so you can see all this cracked stuff here stay off of this look it's all wet in there you can walk around the edge but that is all water in there that will be soaking wet hence why I've got this extra long shovel so if I see something out there I can pick it up without going out um, yeah you do not want to be stepping out there if you might be tempted if you see a big one don't be uh, it's not worth it get something to pick them up like I have got this on Amazon extending one so it obviously goes shorter which is really good also helps with a little bit of a walking stick but yeah I found a few bits now got a few little bits in there uh, I'm not going to show you every little thing I pick up uh, because I'll be showing you video more than I'd be looking uh, I'll be finding loads and loads of little ones. I'll just show you anything of a decent size that looks really nice or anything that's special. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to walk all the way along the cliffs up here, so I should find something at least. I found a couple of little bits. There's one little one in there, a couple of little shells. Ugh. Nothing perfect though. But yeah, there's definitely stuff to find. Not as much as normal though. I know normally you go to one spot here and you'll find loads and loads, but I'm not actually finding as much today so far. I just found one nice one. It's not a big one, but can you see it? Oh, look at that. Not a big, big one, but not bad at all. Decent size and it's got the tip. Quite often these, the tips get broken off. So to find one with the tips on is nice. It's always nice. I always pick them up if I find the tips complete. 
so yeah just having a look these are the places to look on all these mud banks here oh, if they're not wet and literally like that they just sat on the top you don't need to dig the um thing i only bring the shovel for reaching stuff in any damp areas and also for testing the ground in front of me that's another safety thing um so like you if you're going to walk across there you can see it dips that's probably very very wet in the middle or go around the edges but always use something like i use this i use it prod in front of me make sure the ground's stable before i put my feet on and then even then i still test with my foot before i take the next step uh, because you can go down very very quickly and get stuck a uh, little tusk shell there not complete i won't take that one but i'll just show you that's a tusk shell um it would have had a little creature coming out the top but they usually come down to a bit of a smaller point some of them have got twists or bends and little lumps in them as well different species um i haven't found any of those i only keep finding the flat ones so i'm looking for the other ones so hopefully i one day i'll find a decent one but yeah you need to be careful with your finds because they're obviously very breakable the other thing i always bring a little pouch here to put the most delicate bits in and so i don't drop all the delicate stuff in the bags but yeah beautiful day jackie's off down there hopefully she's finding some shark's teeth and hopefully she's doing some videos of anything she finds if not i'll have to show you them all later so that looks like that might be her down there actually i'm not sure yeah, it is. And there's Poppy. No, it's not. No, I thought that was, but it's not. She's probably gone further up by now. Well, I've just got a really good find, and I just spotted something else while I was there as well, so I'm just going to grab that. So there's a little dinky gastropod there, look. That's a really nice one. That's complete. But I found even... Oh, well, there's another one different type different species what i do is i take some pictures of these when i get home because i think the zoom on this if i get too close i don't think it really captures oh, i've got this it doesn't zoom in very well focus so i'll take some pictures of the best finds but i have just found something really special for me just here and it's got his tail that's why it's special because this is quite rare look at that for it to still have its tail on is really really rare so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to bag that up separately I've got some uh, special little bags and so to protect that one from getting damaged because that one is absolutely outstanding I've not got one with such a long tail on it it's beautiful it's missing a tiny bit of the shell there but only a very very small section but normally these tails get broken off so that is exceptional i'm sure i'll find some other bits and pieces there seems to be a lot in this little piece here um but yeah i'll keep looking well i just spotted this one i'll show you just really nice unfortunately it's cracked all around there I've got cracks there crack running through there and half the back's missing and the tail's broken off but so it's not worth taking but it's still really nice i've got a couple of these complete a bit larger than this probably about twice this size so not too worried but it's still really nice to look at so i'm going to leave that there maybe somebody else will want that one if it's still there uh, but yeah there's always loads to find just sat in here just picked up this one this little dinky one uh, I always collect all the little ones because they might all look the same but they're not some of them have got slightly different patternings on uh, there is a website that gives you all the details but like for instance there could be one like this and there's 10 different types so if you want to collect all the different types then you'd need to get them all and have a good look at them under a magnifying glass or something or whatever to see the patternings that's if you're interested in collecting all the different types if you just want one of each type of shell then ideal just grab one the best one you find but yeah there's lots here got quite a few uh, i did go just up there a minute ago and i couldn't film because it was not precarious but it was it wasn't the best place to be 
standing to try and film and what, one thing I did pick up was this one it's quite nice that side's all beautiful little tiny bit of damage on the bottom edge there but still a good example and something else I picked up I just wanted to show you guys uh, I've seen loads and loads of big pieces of partial ones some quite big ones but I just thought this looks really interesting the patterning on it I don't know if it's a shell or a gastropod but it's got really thin lines on the bottom half and then bobbly lines so I'm trying to get the sun and really bobbly lines on the top so uh, I don't know what that's off which one that's off I've not seen one like that before so even though it's only a tiny partial oh yeah it's got like a serrated edge there so it might be a shell of some sort big shell so I might just take that anyway just because I haven't seen anything like it and have a good look at it see if I can uh, ID it later but yeah just keep looking around sometimes the best thing to do is actually stop and get down because like here there's, so there's one there and there's a dinky one there in fact I'll take that one because some of the ones here are only two or three millimeters some of the species so if you don't actually stop and look you'll never find that species but there, there you go that is tiny another reason I take bags oh there's another little dinky one I've got a few of these in the bigger sizes but there yeah look that is how small some of them are so you need to get down and have a good look you might be just walking straight past loads of bits and there's some nice shells here as well so little one there that's a different one so you see how much I'm finding just in one little tiny place and you move a couple of foot over and that, there we go there's another bigger one of those that's quite nice but yeah you can get down on the floor and just literally find tons there's another dinky little one oh it's gone down the crack lovely little shell there as well but there's so much stuff here some of them like this they just crumble so you've got to be when you pick them up just give a throw if you're there's no point there's another one ah. there there look the tip just fell off and there we go look it just crumbled not worth even taking that because it will not preserve properly uh, because you need to wash them to clean them as well but yeah there's so much stuff here so I'm going to keep looking hopefully I'll find a decent size something or other you never know well just spotted that look at the stuff look at that that's just the tail of an amateur of a gastropod it would have been like massive but I found something else really special one of these little ones but look at the point on that I don't know if you can see it very well but it's got bobbles all the way around it as well I've not got one of these so this is a first for us absolutely gorgeous so yeah another partial one there look unfortunately they get broken they're coming down I can see another big partial just there just up there somewhere where I'm pointing in for me it doesn't always show on the camera oh there's a nice little flat flat one these are quite nice as well but yeah but that one's special so definitely so that's two really good finds today so far so i'm really happy already even if i don't find any big ones so definitely a good day now i have found something really good hopefully i haven't got it out yet so oh wow oh yes look at that oh that is beautiful absolutely stunning in really good condition that one really happy with that I think that's the biggest of this species that we found. Uh, absolutely ecstatic. That's gorgeous. Really, really happy. It's going to clean up beautifully, that is. I want to give it some polish, some protection. Uh, yeah, things are looking up. I don't want to take too much out of there. I do clean them out usually uh, when I get them home very very carefully with some water wash them clean them and then preserve them so 
So, but yeah, really happy with that. Some good finds today so far. Oh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that in this bag and then I'm gonna swap bags and get a clean bag because I don't want any of these to get broken. So we'll swap over, put this one safely in my backpack and get a clean bag out. Uh, there's the entrance still there. I haven't even come that far. I've just come along here. Uh, just one quick, couple of quick things. One, don't just check up there. Check down here as well because obviously that lot, when it rains, it washes down quite often. All of these areas, you'll find stuff. And I've just found right by my bag here. So look at that. It's a really nice one in perfect condition. Uh, I'll show you something else in a second. Uh, I've got a couple of other bits. So I've got a few bits already in the bag since I changed it over, what, about a quarter of an hour ago. Um, I didn't show you everything as I pick it up because, too, again, too much. So I've got these two. Really, really nice. Uh, got And I've got a really beautiful tusk shell. Look at that. That's more complete. That's how it should be. With a nice little bend in it as well. So yeah really happy with that one it's nice you can get these in obviously lots of different colors as well but yeah i've got a few bits and pieces um you can also find up here these little um oyster shells now you can't see it at the moment but that'll be really pearly under there once that's been cleaned up that'll be gorgeous they always are so obviously it's hard to find them complete but yeah i've got quite a few bits already but yeah, I always check down these bottom bits because people don't. And that's when you can find stuff. I mean, it is just washed mud down here. And there's a bit of tusk shell there. Partial ammonite, uh, partial gastropod, sorry, there. There's loads, I can see them everywhere. Um, the other thing to be aware of up here, grass, uh, snakes, adders, grass snakes. I, we saw an adder last time. Last time I came, I went up that end right up there you can't get through there from here very easily but in this area like this the grass snakes will come out or the adders and they'll sit on the top and we walked nearly walked straight into an adder and they do bite so you have to be really careful so be looking where you're going because this is the sort of area here where they'll be anywhere where there's vegetation and stuff where they can dive back in like down there if you take a little walk to get through to get off down or up be careful well, just found something else really interesting. Don't know if you can see it. Can you spot it in the picture there? Look at that. Oh, beautiful shark's tooth. And it's got the two lovely little, little spines either side. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm happy with that, I find. You don't often find the shark's teeth up on the banks here. Uh, mostly you find those down on the water, but sometimes when you do they're a bit a bit, bit older than the ones down there uh, But that one's really nice. It's normally uh, very very black down on the water and this one's very very white and pale So yeah, that might be a different one to the species that we've been finding down there Again, I'll have to look it up. There's a, be a really great website it gives you all of the species of these shells, snails, uh, uh, you know, the gastropods, sorry, uh, the shark's teeth, uh, bits of mammal bones, vertebrae, all sorts of things that you can find here. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with that one. We've definitely not got one with those two on there, or these, these colours. So again, probably a different species of shark. Uh, we'll have to look it up, and if I can find it out, I'll put something at the bottom of the screen about now somewhere to say what it is that's beautiful really gorgeous well i'm uh, just going along another oyster shell there just to show you that they're here that's quite a nice one actually so i'll have that one uh, but also the calvitis here's calvitis partial there that would have been quite a big one i've got a really big one of these um very big one and i've also got one on sale on ebay or two actually i think no it might just be one but i've got two to sell um so yeah oh just found one of these these are quite nice and there's another one 
so I'll take those but yeah one of the tips is just slow down take your time it's back braking doing this actually there's what a nice show look how shiny that is but that one's really nice but unfortunately it's broken but that's how shiny they can be underneath absolutely beautiful it's like they're new but they're not but yeah you've got to slow down I mean it is absolutely back braking doing this but there's another one it's how many you can find just in one little place this is why you walk a couple of feet stop and have a good look and I just spotted another nice one uh, oh that one's really good it's got the little bubbles all over it I like that yeah that'll come up beautifully that one yeah just stop stand still look there's so much to see just in one little area um, yeah a partial one there or is it a full one? Oh, could be a good one. Oh yes look at that it's got a little bit of the tail broken but you know what I don't mind it's really really nice I've got a few of those already but yeah so that's how easy it is. that's why if I, if I carried on walking I'd have missed several there you just got to stop and look some nice shells as well something I picked up a minute ago I'll show you as well uh, if I can find it in the bag so you get these shells ten a penny here that look like this you can find hundreds of them and they're really nice sometimes they're bigger than this but what is hard to find is them still together like that what a beautiful bivalve look at that it's more of a clam type but yeah, it's very hard to find them still joined together like that. So really happy with that one. And beautiful valves on it in perfect condition. Uh, always nice to find that. But yep, I'm going to carry on hunting. So I'll put the camera away because it's very, very hard. Oh, another one. Literally, every, you know, just one little spot walk along a foot a couple of foot stop pick up a load more it's back breaking because you're bent over all the time picking stuff up there's just so much to find and I'm still my last video I did was just literally over there I've literally walked from there to no sorry my last video my video the video before was there I found the shark tooth there and I've walked to here and then found all this so yeah it's literally slow going because there's just so much to find here I don't know if you can see it, but just by that plant there to the right, there's a lovely dragonfly just there. Oh, just flew off. Didn't want to be seen. So I found a few more little bits. Not a lot else, but here, look at all this. You'll be so careful down here. So I'm staying right over to this far edge. You can get all the way along up to the end and down for, along this far edge here. Just don't go across any of that. It's very, very dangerous. Obviously, I could have gone down and over that way. But right down near the water, down near the bottom now anyway. But, yeah, hopefully I'll find a few more bits, but not much else yet. That just goes to show, if you can see, footprints there. People walking straight through, not going slowly. A, I just spotted that, this one. Oh, so there's a partial. Just spotted this one. Lovely one, right where their footprints are. There's... Another one there, literally next to their footprint, and another one there. That, so people walking too fast, they're only looking for big stuff obviously, or they're just not looking closely enough. You do need to slow down and look. Oh, another little one there, so I'm going to have a look on this bank here now, going down that way, because what happens is the stuff gets comes down and it'll go down there so all of that bank this flat bank here I'm going to search now and down there because we've seen signs up here which means oh there's a nice one as well a lovely tail on that one so yeah so it just pays to slow down and really look another little dinky round one but yeah there's so much here 
I mean we're after a lot of really small species anyway that we haven't got yet I'm um, just having another look around in case we can see anything else I'm sure there's loads bits of tusk shell I got another really good tusk shell a minute ago so but yeah as you can see quite a few in there now oh, I found this as well which I put in here in a rock there was a broken rock and it's a bit of shell in there looks really nice so I don't know if I better take the top off that but I might prepare I might preserve the top of this before I try taking it off in case it breaks that but yeah I thought that was nice but yeah it's going to do really well here today I don't know what Jackie's found yet but hopefully she might have found a few bits you never know if you're going to climb up any banks stay away from these bits because they're very wet that's where water's coming running down there's a load there as well i just come up the middle bit here and i just spotted this one absolutely stunner look at that beautiful really nice one it's just there in the mud yeah, I always check where the dry bits are and have a quick look. Near the edges of all the wet stuff, but not too close. Uh, I think that's about it for there. Here, I'm not finding a lot down this end, down the front at the moment. And it's been overpicked quite a lot as well. It's the wrong time of year for it. But yeah, as you can see, there's water all coming down there and there. So all of that there is going to be waterlogged. Don't go in it at all. Oh, we're just having a break before we start walking back. Uh, we found a few more, so like these. And Jackie found this lovely, nice one. And Jackie also found another one, but I packed it away. Let me show you a load more in here that Jackie's been picking up as well. Loads of little ones. But what I do is I show you them all together when we're back home. Uh, but yeah, Jackie found this little dinky one about this big, but it's got a really big beautiful spine on the top And that's quite a rare find so I packed that away, but I'll show you it later I'll do some pictures of it, but it's absolutely stunning. Just hope it makes it home in one piece uh, Poppy's been swimming in the sea. She's a bit cold now <laughs> So anyway, if we don't find anything else um, We'll say bye for now beautiful day today uh, thanks for watching and I'll show you the rest obviously in a minute well as I said I'd show you a few of our finds at the end so I've laid them all out and as you can see that is about four hours worth of finds for the pair of us uh, I found a bit more than Jackie because she was mainly looking for shark's teeth she did find a really nice shark's teeth tooth which is that one really really nice um, obviously you've seen the one there that I found and that one this is the one I can't get an ID on look at that I don't know what it is I don't know if it's a shell or a gastropod it's absolutely fantastic though I can't find an ID on this one, so if you do know what it is, it would be really, really helpful. Uh, the little one that I said Jackie found with the spot with, that I packed away, this is why. Uh, so if I can zoom in, look at that, with that beautiful spine on it. I had to pack that really carefully to stop that getting broken. It's tiny, it's what, about 10, 12 mil? absolutely stunning I'll put the name up now of what it is but yeah that was absolutely fantastic I've already um, coated it and that's gonna go get put away very quickly so I've got lots of various bits obviously like um, when you go there the shells like this there are different species of these there's about three or four different types and the same with these so you need to look carefully at them uh, they can be slightly different um, we found these but I don't know if they're modern more modern or not these two shirt oystery shells now I know that the where are they the oysters over here <coughs> these are all old ones definitely 
and I put this one upside down to show you so that one is a different species to these because but look at some of them are really really nice they need cleaning yet but you can see it's got a lovely serrated little edge on that one whereas turn that one over and it's a rounded edge and slightly different shape on that side so they're different species um, another fantastic find was this absolutely fantastic I don't know what this one is yet I haven't looked at it I've got to clean this up but it's absolutely gorgeous I love the patterning on it so I need to clean that up prep preserve it and I'll work out what species it is if I have if I find it out before I put the video on I'll put it down there now found this as well we're not sure what this is it's got a hole in it which I think would go right through but it's full of clay I'm not sure what this is I don't know if it's weird. it's very strange but what you need to be aware of when you're hunting there and some tusk shells as you can see these are complete these ones they're really nice you can find lots with the tips broken some have got more curves like that one than this one but they're really nice I don't think that's a piece of tusk shell because it's the wrong shape it's completely wrong uh, but when if you look at say the size of this one well that's quite tiny that's my new that's about what eight millimeters I'm going to put it there and look how it dwarfs some of those. Some of these here, like that, that's about three millimetres. That one's about three, four mil, three, three mil. Some of the um, uh, some of the gastropods there are absolutely tiny. They go from like one and a half millimetres and sometimes even slightly smaller. So to find some of the species, you really do need to get down and have a good look because some of these will be different species even though they might look identical to a bigger one they're not necessarily <coughs> but yeah some fantastic finds lots of different species as you can see there's the one Jackie got there it's quite a nice size one it needs a clean up again got a little bit of a crack running through it but it'll be fine once I get cleaned up and get the paraloid on it it'll seal those cracks and make it strong enough but yeah I like these as well I think they're quite nice these little dumpy ones but as you can see there's a big one there and then there's multiples there all different sizes and there's actually one in there that's one of the tidy ones so another fantastic find are these little what I don't know what the names are those two but they're really f little little flat ones look if I turn spin them over you can see it's got beautiful patterning on that I don't know if I can zoom in on that yeah there you go look at that absolutely stunning I can't wait to clean those up but yeah I am also found one sometimes you can find these bits of rock that are broken down and there's something preserved in there I'm going to try and take the other half of that off. I'm going to cut, coat that side first to protect it before I try and take any of this off and hopefully it will come off. But you don't often find them in these or if you do they're broken. But yeah I found this which I think is also some sort of oyster shell because look at the inside. That is definitely an old one not a new one. I don't know the species on that yet. I haven't checked that one out. But yeah some good finds. A little pile there of ones that were broken so they're going to be chucked away but yeah I do like these little gastros of this sort anyway I'll put some pictures up some nice close-ups of some of the uh, better finds and hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching